Though many scientists are still hard at work learning about our past, we still don't have all the answers for the many questions that we have about human evolution. So much has happened in the hundreds of thousands of years that we've been evolving. There have been some bizarre phenomena concerning world events and many theories have been thrown around to try and explain it all. I have a list of strange things concerning our time throughout history, so let's get to counting down the top 10 mysterious things ancient humans did. At number 10, Gobekli Tepe. Let's kick off this mysterious list with an archaeological site that completely rewrote the timeline of the Neolithic era. The Neolithic era was the final period of the Stone Age where early humans began the process of domestication of animals and agriculture. For a long time, scientists believed that this era gave way to the process of holding rituals and creating monuments to their beliefs. But with the remarkable discovery of Gobekli Tepe, that entire idea was rewritten as this mysterious site suggested that early hunter gatherers made this temple as a ritualistic center far before these individuals decided to create settlements and begin the agricultural revolution. Based on evidence found at the site that dates 6,000 years older than Stonehenge, groups of hunter gatherers came to this site in Urfa, Turkey some 11,500 years ago and carved out this ritualistic site out of the limestone that covered the area. It is believed that Gobekli Tepe was just a stopping point for these early humans. It was a place to meet, hold feasts, and then leave again. Soon enough though, the desire to regularly hold these gatherings prompted the early humans to domesticate plants and animals to have a more dependable food source. It is believed that these rituals is what gave way to the agricultural revolution, not the other way around. If you've seen any content regarding Gobekli Tepe, then you would know how eerie and mysterious the site looks, and because it's so old, it holds so many secrets that we have yet to uncover. At number 9, Stonehenge. Moving on to another mysterious site built by early humans, we have the famous Stonehenge. This Neolithic monument is one of the most well known prehistoric sites. The construction of Stonehenge by the ancient humans went in two stages. The first monument was an early henge monument built around 5,000 years ago, and the unique stone circle built around it was built in 2500 BCE in the late Neolithic period. Now, even though this prehistoric site is very famous, we still don't have all the answers about this place. Most importantly, what it was built for. There are a number of theories that could explain the purpose of Stonehenge, depending on who you ask, but the three main theories are that it was a sacred burial ground, a site for celestial alignment or a place of healing. There is evidence to back these theories up, but no solid answer has been uncovered. The other mystery surrounding this is how on earth did Neolithic people manage to construct something so large with simple tools? It is theorized that the stones from the site were transported from somewhere else, about 32 kilometers away, and it was brought to the site where it was shaped using sarzen and flint hammer stones. Then the stones would be put into pre-excavated holes and hoisted up using plant fiber ropes and wooden pillars. It would have taken a tremendous amount of work, so we're still not entirely Entirely sure how this all came together, but then again, we only just found out where the stones came from, so we have to give science a little bit more time. Now, before I continue talking about these mysterious things that humans have done, I would first like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also maybe think about subscribing to the channel as well. We have so many fun videos to offer you here on Bumblebee, so smash that subscribe button and join the hive. At number eight, domesticate dogs. If you have a dog, then here's something interesting that you might not know about your relationship with them. You accidentally domesticated them. Well, not you directly, but your early ancestors. Yep, that's right. Ancient humans somehow mysteriously domesticated dogs completely by accident, or so it is said. A lot remains unclear about the domestication of dogs. What we do know is that during the last ice age, ancient humans would feed their meat scraps to dogs and eventually they became our pals. Dogs split from their wolf ancestors between 27,000 and 40,000 years ago, and the first burial site of a dog that was found was from 14,200 years ago. Dogs are also the only animals who were domesticated by hunter gatherers. One theory for the domestication of dogs is that they were used to help with hunting, but again, no one really knows for sure. This phenomenon sort of just happened without anybody really trying for a specific outcome. During the time of the last ice age, humans and dogs would have competed for the same meat source, but since humans aren't adapted to eating only meat, then there would have been some left over, and that would have gone out to our soon to be furry friends. Eventually, dogs learned that they could get food easily from humans, and so they stuck by our sides. Because all this happened by happy accident, it feels as though dogs were almost destined to be by our sides from the beginning. At number seven, migration. One of the most fascinating yet complex stories about human evolution is our migration. For many groups of early humans, 
it was easy to leave Africa and go elsewhere. Early on in our history, ancient humans began to migrate to Europe and Asia because they were all connected by land masses, but the mysterious story behind early humans' migration to the land down under is where things start to get very interesting. It is believed that the first settlers of Australia first came from Southeast Asia. Genetic findings show that the earliest indigenous Australians came from somewhere around Asia. These individuals were the ones who took a leap of faith to cross the water and settle in new land that at the time they never knew existed. Their curiosity took them to a new land. Now there are many theories as to how humans got to Australia. Since there's always been water separating the continent from the rest of the world, these early humans would have had to build some kind of ancient boat or raft to get across. Scientists have yet to find evidence to support this theory since due to rising sea levels on the coast of Asian countries as well as Australia, if these ancient boats or rafts were still there, they would either be too far underwater to find or completely degraded. For now, all we have to go off is theories and ideas, so the story of how humans got to these new places remains a mystery. At number 6, cave paintings. I think that out of all the things left behind by our ancient ancestors, cave paintings are some of the most mysterious. So many archaic art pieces have been found by scientists over the years, from statues to ceremonial pieces, but cave paintings are by far the most interesting, at least in my opinion. Much like modern art, it is all up to interpretation, especially since the artists who created these cave masterpieces are long gone. Some of the most mysterious cave paintings are ones that depict some kind of alien life forms. Yes, that's right, I said aliens. Even back in the days of early humans, Homo sapiens have been looking to the stars or even having their own encounters with extraterrestrials. One such depiction of alien life comes from the Wangina cave paintings. These eerie looking paintings depict these sky beings as they were called. These beings are depicted with white faces devoid of a mouth, large black eyes, and a head surrounded by a halo or some kind of helmet. According to legend, the Wangina were sky people or spirits of the sky who descended from the Milky Way and created Earth and all of its inhabitants. The Wangina realized how big a task their creation was, so they sent for more of their people and spent their time creating, teaching, and being gods to the people of Earth. Eventually, they left, either descending into the water or returning back to the stars. It's a bit of an eerie story and is very mysterious. At number five, bipedality. As we are more than aware, we are bipedal. Humans walk on two legs, and it's been like that for millennia. Now you're probably asking yourself, Brie, what's so mysterious about that? And I will tell you, dear viewer, the thing that is so mysterious about our bipedality is the fact that we have no idea why we evolved this way. There are a lot of theories, but the bottom line is that we don't know why our primate ancestors decided to just up and start walking all of a sudden. There was once a running theory that we became bipedal as a way to adapt to our surroundings. It was thought that because of the changing climate in Africa, the forest that we once inhabited started to dry up, and so we had to adapt to living on the savanna. And to do that, we needed to leave our tree climbing ways behind and start walking. But thanks to new bone evidence from ancient human species, that hypothesis has been rewritten. When Artipithecus raminus was discovered, it was noted that her remains showed adaptations for both tree climbing and bipedality. And since Artipithecus raminus was believed to have lived in a wooded environment, this just made scientists go back to the drawing board, so to speak, to explain why humans are bipedal. To this day, we just don't know for sure, and it remains a mystery. And number four, stop evolving. There is a theory in the scientific community that hypothesizes that Homo sapiens have stopped evolving. It is a highly debated theory, but a theory nonetheless. Some experts, including naturalist David Attenborough believe that our species has just stopped evolving over the years and it's kind of a mystery. There's a theory that since we are now able to keep even the weakest members of our species alive, we homo sapiens have stopped evolving physically. Experts believe that we have nothing left in the world to adapt to and so we physically stop making changes to our body to make it easier to keep going. Instead of changing ourselves to fit the world, we've instead changed the world to fit us. On the other hand, however, there is a theory that rather than having stopped evolving, we started evolving at a much faster rate and no one has really noticed. Only time will tell which theory is actually correct, but until that time comes, this will remain yet another human mystery. At number three, punchable faces. Have you ever just wanted to punch somebody in the face? I know, weird question, but it applies here. Another pretty mysterious thing that ancient humans did was evolve punchable faces. Yeah, weird flex, but okay. If you were to punch someone in the face, they would be relatively okay for the most part. I mean, yeah, they might walk away with some bruises and whatnot, but for the most part, they will survive. This is because hominids evolved so that we could take a hit. Well, more specifically, males. The male face was designed to be able to take a hit and just walk it off. Based on research done by evolutionary biologists, male facial structures started to firm up over time because they were constantly getting into fights and they needed to be able to adapt to getting hit several times. You have to remember that back in the early days of man, we didn't really have weapons to start with. For a long time, all we had was our fists, and so when someone was threatened, they had to duke it out. 
Eventually, we evolved to be able to withstand a punch, and that is why Jake Paul is able to get punched so many times and get back up. Unfortunately. At number two, self domestication. Another really mysterious thing that ancient humans did was they domesticated themselves. Self domestication in humans means that over time we evolved towards having more collaborative, docile behavior. To survive in groups, we needed to be able to work together, and over time we evolved so that this was possible. We weeded out that aggression so that we didn't have the innate desire to attack other humans who came into our groups. And though this all sounds nice, this self domestication also has a dark side that is revealed when you bring up the topic of our darker histories like war, slavery, and mass killings of certain groups. Because we became more docile, we also became ignorant to people who weren't part of our group. Which is why later on in history we saw this theme of marginalizing and discriminating. The idea of self domestication is pretty wild when you think about it because rather than us become more docile through the influence of an outside force, we somehow had the idea to do that ourselves. Unless the aliens did this, which honestly could be very possible. And finally, at number one, mass extinction. Now, this one might not necessarily be mysterious, but it is concerning and it paints a picture of where we're headed as humanity continues to manipulate the earth. While humans were evolving in Africa, the rest of the world's creatures were thriving for the most part. In many parts of the world untouched by human influence, there were megafauna. These megafauna were able to live and thrive for thousands of years, at least until Homo sapiens came along and ruined everything. As we started to traverse the globe, creating settlements, and beginning the story of humanity, we also, in the process, killed off most of this megafauna, causing a mass extinction of these creatures. This extinction event, which scientists have called the Holocene extinction, is still ongoing. Most of the large mammals who have ever roamed the Earth were wiped out around 80,000 years ago and went completely extinct by 10,000 years ago. Some scientists want to blame this on climate change, however, in a lot of places, the timing of the first human settlements and the extinction of certain animals line up too precisely to completely excuse us from having caused damage to the Earth's megafauna. This, plus the fact that this extinction event is ongoing, with more and more of Earth's creatures going extinct every day, I think this is enough evidence to prove that we are the problem. We have to do better guys, the earth is dying and it's all our faults. Now before I wrap things up, I want you guys to tell me down in the comments which mysterious thing I talked about today surprised you the most. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host B Room and until next time, stay safe, make good choices and stay sweet bumblebees.